What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a budget-friendly video doorbell. This one's from Eufy. This says 1080p grade resolution. We'll talk about that later, but it is 1080p in a sense. This is also almost $100, it's $99.99. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out yourself, along with other Eufy products, because I've reviewed quite a few of the Eufy products out there, and I really like the Eufy brand. So you can go ahead and check those out too. I'll link those videos as well. I love the fact that this one is only $100 and it is battery operated. Another thing too is since it's battery operated and it doesn't get hardwired to the house, you can put this pretty much anywhere you want in a house, a business, a shed, whatever you, you name it. And if it gets stolen, your footage won't be gets, your footage won't get stolen either because your footage is gonna remain on the little chime here that goes inside the house. So everything goes from the, the camera or the doorbell to the chime and then it records it on the SD card. So let's go ahead and check and see what you get in the box. Once we do that, I also wanna go and do a test of the video, uh, the video quality during the day as well as the quality during the night so you can get an idea of what it looks like as well as the audio because that's pretty important too. But another thing that's really important that I think that I, I mean, I've missed in the past on some of my videos is how quick does it notify your phone when you get motion detection? And how well is the motion detection? Being battery operated, I see sometimes those don't do as well, so I'm curious to see how well this one does. So let's go ahead, again, let's get in the box and see what you get in the box. So right off the bat, on the front of the box, you see here it's the 1080p grade resolution. Then you have free no monthly fees. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of reflecting. Then down here you have it says 120 day battery life, so that's about four months. I would say expect to see two to three months of battery activity. Uh, it depends on how many motion detections it gets and how many recordings it does. If you're in an area where you don't get very much activity at your door, then it may last up to four months. There are no monthly fees and it is battery powered. On the side here, it has live view and recording history, instant notification. Like I said, we're gonna test that out. Multi-user access advanced AI human detection, activity zones to reduce false notifications. I really love that. I wished every video doorbell and security camera has that because how many times do you get the tree moving around or a shadow? That sucks. Two-way audio, and then it shows kind of what the app looks like here. So we'll get that later. So on the back here, they have a crystal clear full HD image. So it's the resolution is actually 1600 by 1200. And the reason why that is, is because it's a 4-3 aspect ratio. And the reason why they do the 4-3 aspect ratio versus the 16-9 is because it's trying to get the full body picture or the most of the full body picture. It's not quite the one in, or the one by one resolution. I don't think that's how you say it, but the one, one by one resolution is more up and down, kind of like a cell phone. It is IP65 waterproof, 120 day battery life, Storage you can trust, so you can, it says military grade AES, 256 data encryption ensures that your footage is kept private. So if you do store it on the cloud, there's encryption there as well as putting it on the SD card. Human detection, so this reduces alerts via their uh, AI detection. So that way, if you got a dog or a cat that runs up, I have a cat that comes to my door overnight most of the times. So at least it doesn't get that. Uh, who's there? Not facial recognition but it receives a facial snapshot notification. So it's a rich notification. So I'll show you that. So that way you can click into it and see a picture, like a kind of a snapshot of who's there or what's there. It works with Google and Alexa too as well. So right out of the box, you get a little booklet here, kind of uh, explains a little bit more about them. Step four tag. Not sure what that's for. A UFI monitoring sticker, 24 seven monitoring, and a quick guide here. Here's the layout of the packaging after you get into it. So they put it in styrofoam here, really nice, and a kind of a protecting top here. I was unpacking this to get it organized and I see a step five here. So it looks like they labeled the steps out that you need to use. So that step four, I think that's the instructions. So here's the video doorbell. It's very shiny on the front and probably fingerprint prone. You got the door here or the doorbell here. It's got, it looks like a little ring light there. You got the logo there, some sensors up here with the microphone and speaker. And I think the speaker's on the back or the side. The speaker's on the, I'm not really sure where the speaker is oh, on the bottom, see. And then you got the camera right there. 
And then on the back side, you have the micro USB for charging and a sync button right there. So here's the mount where you screw this into the wall and it'll come up here. And yeah, it does kind of complete the design of this. So that way it doesn't look so kind of a little bit awkward here to me, but it'll complete the design. They also give you a kind of a 45 degree wedge here. So you can tilt it left or right. Here is the chime as well as the micro SD spot. So you'll put the micro SD card in there and then sync this to your, to your video doorbell. And you got a reset button here too. And then on the back side, which is really nice because your plug that you plug in the wall, this one doesn't plug into the wall right here. Well, it does right here. What I'm saying is it does have a plug for your area. So if you're in Europe or something like that, you'll have a different plug. So what this will do is it'll sit on here and rotate until it clicks. And so this one's for the United States. So we'll get that on there. But here is the speaker for the chime as well as the SD card slot to hold the footage onto. Then you have mounting screws here. Then you have the micro USB to USB-A for charging. They don't give you a charging brick, but let's be real, most people have that. So not a big deal. And that's pretty much it. So here you have pretty much everything you need other than instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up on my phone. And then I'm gonna do the test footages, the footages, the test footage for day and night and notification. And I will also show you a little bit about the app and then follow up with what I think about this after been using it. Here's the quality of the video during the day, as well as the audio quality. And I'm about 10 feet from the video doorbell. Here's the quality of the video at night, it's black. So this is the quality that you're gonna see at nighttime with no lights on, as well as the audio, which isn't gonna change by day. But I'm about 10 feet from the doorbell. So now you saw the quality of the video during the daytime, as well as nighttime, and the quality of the audio. Now another thing is the quality of the video. A lot of companies out there say it's 1080p resolution, and when you get to see it again, it really doesn't look that crisp or clear compared to what 1080p really is. And in this situation, the clearness of the daytime and nighttime is pretty good. So we're gonna see how long it takes to notify me on my phone when there's motion. So here we go. So there it is. And we're gonna see how long it takes. Now let's lit up. There it is. Now, I want to go ahead and show you real quick before I show more about the app, but I want to go ahead and show you what I noticed about how long it took to send the alert to my phone once it saw motion. I had it set up with the defaults and I noticed it did take a little bit of time, as you can see in the video footage here coming up, a little bit longer than I would have liked, but I did notice in the settings here, I'll pull it up here, I noticed under motion detection, oh yeah, motion, no, under notification, there's one that says most efficient, one that says include thumbnail, and one that says full effect. Under most efficient, it says get notification without delay. Once I moved it from include thumbnail to most efficient, it was pretty much instant. As soon as it saw my, my face and my motion, it started alerting me. And I also noticed when the UPS guy came, it alerted as soon as he came up to the door. I, I, I think that if you want to keep it on that, that's great. If you need a thumbnail, it's I, that's a good feature to have, but it just let, let you know it will delay it a little bit. So I was pretty impressed once I switched the settings up a little bit, how short of a time, I was gonna say long, but short of a time it took to alert my phone that there was motion at the front door or by the doorbell. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you around the app a little bit and let's pull that up here. So as you can see here, I have the app up. It does show my doorbell. I named it doorbell, well, front door. And you can see you got a picture of what was last recorded on the video, which is the front of my house at night. And then you can see that how much battery is left on the video doorbell. I didn't charge up the video doorbell. It already, they say it's got 80% battery life. I think I had like 75 or 73 when I, when I started using it. 
Also, you can see, you can snooze the notifications, uh, which is really nice. You can, that's really nice because the other week I was putting up my Christmas lights and I needed to snooze it, which that way I didn't get any alerts. Uh, so that's great. Also, that seven right now, you see right next to the little door or the alarm or the bell with the Z's on it, that tells you how many alerts there were that you ha or notifications that you have left to go and view. And then you have the settings cog. That's for the video doorbell settings only. Now below the image, you'll see the little, it looks like the little uh, chime kind of waving at you. And it says front door. They also have settings on that. So you can reach the settings of the doorbell chime as well as the video doorbell separately. But you'll see a little error message there. It looks, it's supposed to be an SD card. I don't have an SD card in there right now, so it's just letting me know that there's no SD card in there. So let's go ahead and go to the doorbell settings here. Kind of gives you a picture real quick about how much battery life is left on the top, the name of the video doorbell, which is doorbell. You can rename it if you want to. Uh, you can turn on and off the camera, on and off the, uh, the status LED, auto night vision on and off, and the logo for the watermark on the video. You have motion settings, which this is where you can set up sensitivity and activity zones. Turn on and off detection mode. You can do human only or all motion detection. And then you can also enable human only at night, which is kind of nice. So then you have auto audio settings. You can turn on audio and remove audio. Uh, and then you got the volumes there as well. And then notification settings, you can do motion detect, doorbell ring, um, you can see what the related history event was or the live view by pressing in on it. Most efficient, we went over this real quick, the no notifications, uh, most efficient, basically just get a notification, it's quicker or a thumbnail, it takes a little bit more time and then you get the full effect which gets the text notification first and then a thumbnail is included once it's available. And then you have app tones, you can change the tones of motion alerts to something different than the doorbell touch. And you can actually, which is interesting because you can change those without the SD card in the chime. Now that I've reviewed this doorbell and used it for a little bit, I do recommend it for a budget friendly 1080p video doorbell. And what's nice is it's battery operated. The only downfall with that is you have to recharge the batteries as well as you, ha you can't plug, you can't wire it into your doorbell. So there's no way to wire it into your doorbell or existing door or your existing doorbell, but you don't have to now. You can just charge the thing, you take the, remove the thing on the wall and then charge it up and then put it back out there once it's charged. And you don't have to worry about um, wiring it up and being an electrician and all that type of stuff. So this one's black, but they also have one in white for the same price of $100. The white just has a white outline on the outside and then the inside casing is all black still, but it does have, it's white, different color. So like I said, I will link the products in the description below so you can check them out along with links to my other Eufy videos from my other security cameras I've reviewed for them, as well as linking you for SD cards that I've recommended before in the past. I'll put that in the description below so you can check it out yourself. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions about the video doorbell, put them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time.